Today on RCDC, Rowan and Erin and myself are going to try and build a quadcopter that can light a cigarette. To do that, we've got a whole lot of stuff that we've pulled out of different boxes in the shed. Rowan's going to try and solder up all the stuff to make something that spins and doesn't cut people. Erin's going to build a frame with pre-3D printed out a whole lot of arm mounts with some extras because it's probably just going to break. And Beryl is going to be our smoker person that we're going to light the cigarette with. So our goal is basically to try and have something done in an afternoon with stuff that we've got in the shed and we haven't bought anything apart from the hairspray which we're going to use for our lighter. So I've got to try and build some sort of a lighter with an ignition source to light our cigarettes. I'm going to use this can of hairspray, this scrap bit of plywood, a jigsaw and a lighter and a servo and we'll see what happens. I am on motor duty where I have to solder up all these wires to these things and put some battery power in it and hopefully nothing catches on fire. So we're going to use a large piece of ply, we're going to cut it off. We're going to be so spiky with the shit that's... <laughs> a bit of filming. We <laughs> 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 talk about your other problems too, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> got to make sure you use sufficient amount of duct tape when taping lighters to cans of hairspray. So I'm just getting Rowan to plug in the servo that's going to actuate the hairspray and see if it works. I'll do it again. Right, so frame's finally complete, and what we've ended up with is a behemoth of a thing, <laughs> made out of just what we've got in the shed. Cable ties holding the carbon fibre arms on, 3D printed ends, the uh, firing mechanism as you've seen before, and yeah, and the main thing is, is it going to be too heavy to fly? Soon find out. Yeah. Rowan decided we didn't need any power to the flight controller or the radio receiver. <laughs> Why is that, Rowan? <laughs> I didn't think it through. I mean, I snipped, I it didn't listen! <laughs> Motors might be in the wrong orientation because Rowan keeps not thinking. Any comment, Rowan? Yeah, it sounds accurate. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see if the lighter will stay lit after it's flamed and then not flamed. And here we go. Uh, more? Yeah. Yay. Erin's uh, just going to test the video for the FPV by checking his 5.8 receiver through the TV. So we have to hook up the TV now. Upside down. Oh, fuck balls. Camera's upside down. Okay, I'll fix that. Do the FPV mount. Should have tested it before gluing it fuck in. Fuck me, that is glued like crazy, eh? Huh? 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 Keep going. 
Got it. We'll do a, a flight test, and then if that, if that if the hover works, we'll then we'll test it with the um, the lighter. What just happened? The... I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, the propeller... No, I'm done. Oh, but that's not really fun. That was a good one. <laughs> it, it flew, the drone wouldn't fly, it flew, sort of, but then things flew off it, so we sort of went, fuck it. And now we've just attached our flamethrower to a car and we're going to try and burn some shit. Sure, it's far enough away that it's not going to fuck us out. <laughs>